been telling y'all I was going to uh, give you a little tour of Bradley's paintings in the fellowship hall here at the church. Here they are. Some of them, these are, all these paintings I'm going to show you are paintings that Bradley painted with his fingers after he went blind while he was in school, high school. Well, middle school and high school. I don't know all the different names of them and stuff like that, what they got called, but I just wanted to show you the, the artwork that a deaf blind boy can do. We should let us all know that we all have something to offer. Brad is very talented in many different ways. Check that out. So he went on memory with, uh, he loved the beach and he loved rainbows and he, you know, when he could see, he went on memory of what the clouds look like, what the sky looks like, the birds, the seagulls, and rainbows. But he painted all this himself, as you can see his little fingerprints. I just thought that was pretty awesome to see. I thought there was one over there, but there's not. This is our stone fireplace here in the fellowship hall. My cousin made these fire dogs for us. Check that out. Three crosses. We got the crown right there. It's made out of some kind of copper. It's heat resistant, won't burn. And this guy even got the rolling hills where he cut it with the plasma cutter. I thought that was pretty cool. He donated those to the church years back. And so a pine log that came out of the river swamp. I'm telling how old that thing is. Had a little birthday party up here for my nephew Tate yesterday. I still have some of this. This is something here you may want to check out. No matter what you're going through, what, what you are in life, you look here. God used a lot of these people on here that didn't start out too well, but he used them. If you don't think God can use you, read some of these names. Here's a few more Bradley's paintings. This is one of my favorite ones here. He loved the ocean, loves the ocean. He made this the dolphin jumping up out of the out of the ocean, the seashells. He placed them all where they needed to go. He had, so he had a little help with this one, but he done it all on his own memory of what he wanted. See the little red thing showing the seagulls and the clouds and the sun and the ocean and the fish in the sea. He even has the little, the way the, the little suds are when the, when the waves are coming in on the beach and then the seashells. That was pretty awesome. And then this is the last one over here. I actually sold one of, we didn't, the school sold it to uh, um, up in Columbia, some kind of art gallery in South Carolina. And I was able to take the money and send it to Camp Chemo for some kids who had cancer. So I think, this, I think one, not this one, but one of them sold for $500, I think. So just wanted to share a little bit of Bradley's paintings with you. I was able to help some child that had cancer or kept chemo to go on vacation. So that goes to show you that God can use any of us. And I hope you've been inspired by Bradley's artwork. We got some more we'll show. I think there's some more. Here's another picture in the church. Oh, we got one at the house. Yeah. Yeah, one in his bedroom. I'll try to show you that one. But I think all of them are good. But the one with the rainbow back there I showed you. And the one right here with the dolphin and fishing the sea. I just think that's pretty awesome. Painted one for Granny for her birthday. Yeah, Robbie's Granny sure did. Back before, before she passed away, yep. Is that not just too cool or what? I don't know if they still got. Some of them had a thing on it, but I don't know if I didn't stop them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if I remember one of them was called Fingers Dancing. I don't, it might be, it might be, that looks like it would be. But 
Just give you another little look. They probably covered it up when they They probably did when they put it in the frame or whatever. I want to show them this one more time. It's another one of my favorites that I showed you earlier right here. That probably don't have a name on it either. Is that one. But anyway, we just think that's awesome that God used him to uh, produce these paintings after he went blind and was able to help some other kids that have had cancer at Camp Chemo to go for a little vacation. And then we get to display them here in the fellowship hall at the church. So, anyway, well, we hope you enjoy it. Very enjoy it. Like the cross up there in that heart pine. I just love the fireplace. I love a fireplace anyway. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Have a good day. We're fixing to head out from church and head to get some lunch. Tell them bye, Robert Lynn.